COVID-19 cases continue to climb across the country, including in McLean County. The McLean County Health Department says the county is now averaging 600 new cases a week. WMBD's Austin Schick shows us where the county sits now. Austin. Mark Shelby, according to the CDC, McLean County is experiencing a medium level of COVID-19 spread. And just a month ago, health officials said we were at a low level of spread. And now they are concerned about the county and surrounding areas entering a high level of spread. If you're on the fence about getting vaccinated, now is the time to really seriously consider it. COVID-19 cases rising in McLean County. The CDC classifying McLean County as a medium level of community spread for COVID-19, but McLean County health officials believe it could soon change. When we go into high community level, and if we do, um, we really need to start thinking about going back to those same actions that we were taking back in January when we had those really, really high levels. Everybody should consider masking indoors and social distancing indoors. Health officials say in April, the county averaged 200 weekly cases. Now it's close to 600. We also want to look at disease severity. We want to look at how many people are getting sick and what is the level of their illness. Manco says it's best to test early so treatment can begin as soon as possible. One of the newer treatments for COVID positive patients, Pfizer's Paxlovid. It helps by um, stopping the virus from replicating and causing further disease and it's best to use actually earlier in therapy. It's a prescription five day pill treatment taken twice a day. A pharmacy coordinator for OSF says it can lessen chances of being hospitalized or dying from COVID-19. It's not for prophylaxis and it's not for patients who um, uh, it, it's not for patients who are uh, hospitalized either. Tim Murray says it can benefit many patients who have other underlying conditions. It's only shown benefit right now and only tested on patients who are have um, high risk of disease progression, um, which include things like chronic kidney disease or patients with asthma. Now, Manco and Murray say the best protection is still getting vaccinated and boosted. And Murray says if you do test positive for COVID-19, talk with a doctor before taking Paxlovid as it has many negative interactions with other drugs. Shelby.